Hi, I'm Earl Bennett, professional wide receiver, and today I'm going to give you pro tips on how to run a nine route, seam route, go route, the same route. It's just where you just, it's a vertical route, vertical concept. And so my whole thing with the vertical, vertical concept is against man, you want to make sure that you're not getting pushed outside too far or against cover two that you're squeezing, you get inside, and once you get outside, you want to make sure that you're four yards from the sideline so that you don't be in the way of another vertical or that you're not in jeopardy of getting knocked out by the safety. So if I have cover two, I want to make sure I have my good stance as always, and I want to make sure I got my hands up. Cover two, I know the cornerback, he's sitting about four yards. So I want to get outside, so when I push, if he's outside, which he probably will be in cover two, I want to make sure I widen him. And when I widen him, I slip under him. Once I slip under him, now I must get back outside where I'm about four yards from the uh, out of bound line. Because if I'm in too far, then I'm by the safety because the safety is sitting over top in cover two. I want to make sure that I squeeze him and I get inside. I want to get back outside where I'm like four from out of bounds and I'm staying away from this safety so when I catch it, I got time to make a move on the safety. Also, if I have cover three or any off coverage, I want to make sure that I'm pushing the DB. Once I step on his toes, then I jump around him, make sure that I'm four yards from out of bounds and I'm getting vertical. And once I get vertical, I don't want to continue to widen because I'm getting too close to the out of bound. I want to make sure that when I get by him, I'm squeezing him and I'm getting on top of him and I'm staying four yards from the sideline. Now, if I have man or if I have press coverage, I first, as always, make sure I have a good stance, make sure I have my hands up so I'm ready for combat and I have all my weight on my front foot so I can push off of it and I don't have a false step. So if I have man and he's heavy inside, then I can use a speed release and I can rip under him and I can push. Once I get by him, now I can squeeze him and I can get on top of him and then I can run my route. And the quarterback will throw the ball to a spot where it'd be four yards from the sideline because now you have a middle of field safety sitting in the middle watching and looking. So when you're running against press, you want to make sure that you're always squeezing them, you're getting on top of them, and you're saving the quarterback some room to either fade you to the sideline, or if the safety stays over, he can just throw it straight down the middle of the field. So I'm going to have Dana come in, and we're going to run against cover two and show you how I want to run a route. So it's cover two. I have the guy sitting right on top of me. I see it's two safeties. I got my stance, I got my hands, and I want to push him. And when I push him, he goes out, I slip under him, I get back outside, and now I catch the ball, I look it in, and I tuck the ball in. So now, when I catch it at this spot, I'm four from the out of bounds, I see the safety, now he's trying to come and make a play on it. I got time to make a move or just run by them. You see the vertical concepts a lot in the professional league because it's hard to stop depending on any coverage. You can run it against cover two, you can run it against cover three, you can run it against cover man. So the main thing is to always make sure that you have a plan when you go to the line of scrimmage and you have a vertical concept that you're gonna go and score a touchdown, which is meant for. I'm Earl Bennett, and that's my pro tips on running the vertical route.